Well, good morning. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Right now, me and Jesse, we're heading uh, across the Red River up into Oklahoma. Not doing a regular Oklahoma trip, though. I'm going to bypass Oklahoma City. Got to deliver a chair to my daughter that I picked up that she wanted. And go see my brother up in Chandler where he's got his Route 66 uh, uh, tourist trap shop art gallery. Good stuff. I'll squeeze some record looking there right in the middle of all that. And then uh, we'll probably overnight there in Tulsa then head home in the morning. I'll do some more record hunting that way. So this should be enjoyable. And uh, right up ahead to the Red River. Generally, you take uh, I-35 north through Texas and you go north until you smell it. Then you cross the Red River and you're in it. And that's, that's Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, I like to kid around, but not in this case, it's, it's Oklahoma. So let's go, let's have fun, yada, 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 maybe some records. Well, all right. Let's go check out the community thrift shop. My brother lives in this little town. I'm about 15 minutes early, so let's, let's see what's here. Really cool. Well, no luck, bud. They did have some, at least. Better than a lot of places, anyway. Well, I'm just standing around outside of my brother's uh, Route 66 gallery, Mac Jerry's. Route 66 Gallery, I think is the official name. I'm at the back of it. He's going to come open it up. He's done some remodeling work, and I started to drive off and realized, I need to show you his remodeling work he did. It's really good. Yeah, that's my brother's shop. I found this sign for him, uh, oh, I don't know, close to 30 years ago. 1986. My birthday. Wow. $25 at a garage sale. 25 bucks. These are my original paintings and then yeah. reproductions. The thing is, sometimes tourist traps are good. They're yeah. just not traps in the oh, bad sense. I, and, no. and of course, there's a sun record. So that's McJerry's. That's You've got to come here when you're going through beautiful downtown uh, Chandler. It's lovely this, kind, this time of year, so come on. Well, okay, we're on the roll now, so let's check this place. At one time I found good records here. I haven't in a long time, but who knows? What a great looking stereo. Wow. I don't think any records they had would be right around here somewhere. TRS-80 color computer. Man. Run that Windows negative 5 on that. Well, I'm taking a different route into the Tulsa area. Going to loop around from the west and north. Catch them unawares. And I think there's a shop or two I haven't been, at least in a long time, that we're going to go check. Well, I found a resale shop. See if they'll sell me some. Did you have any of the small records or the old 78 singles? All right. Well, no luck there, but nothing ventured, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, all right. Here's an antique mall, and there might be another one. So let's go check this out. I think y'all once had a bunch upstairs. Or somebody did. I remember yeah, I did. Yeah, looking I through those at one time. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for one Sand Springs record from the 60s. It was James Bond and the Agents. It's like a garage rock record. I've got it, but it's got a bad skip in it but I'm having a hard time finding another. Can't remember the name of the label though, the, the company, but man, it's, it's pretty sharp.
Okay, it looks like I got a good bluegrass gospel thingy. And then little Richard, who also on occasion did gospel music, but that's not what I like about him. I like his rocking stuff. And that's one that doesn't turn up every day, so why not? Let's see if there's another place here. Huh, Pharaoh Records. Always check the Glenn Campbell in case there's a copy of Guess I'm Dumb, which is a really good Northern Soul record. I don't know what that is. Stuff, pretty cool. So I got some rockabilly. Freddie McDuff. I don't know who this is. Bad Man from Oklahoma by Mighty King Cobra. No idea. Johnny D. This probably is great country. Sterling Blythe, one of the great voices. And there's a rocker. Big green car. Jimmy Carroll. Not great shape, but who cares. William Phoenix. Yes. I don't know why he'd use that name. Should have called himself, you know, Jim Penix, maybe, but Willie Penix. Just put your own pure eye little joke in there. A good one with hot guitar. Jimmy Work, Hank Thompson. There's old Sid King. My favorite song he did, Let Her Roll. And then, I don't know what that is, but I'm hoping it's a soul. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, shoot, let's go by Josie Records of Tulsa if there's a parking spot. Yeah, they're still around. That's good. The damn Abbott Records. Another. Ooh, ooh, thirty dollars though. No, that's what it's worth though, so that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I 
Sunshine label, but it wasn't the Oklahoma Sunshine label. I would like to find one of those here. A little bit of R&B. Maybe we can find some B. Well, I'm happy I got my $5 Luke McDaniel record. Looks like it's unplayed. You know, and those are just nice things to have. Well, I guess that's it for today. Tomorrow, Jesse and I will get up and do a whole new adventure. Work our way back quickly into Texas. I've got Jake coming from uh, Missouri to look at records. He's going to hopefully buy up a bunch of the stuff I've got stacked up because I'm going to be making a move pretty soon. Don't want to carry that stuff with me, etc., etc. And uh, I always figured when I pass on, maybe I'd have me a big pyramid built in my honor, and I could just stack all my records in there. Have a little compartment for you know Smithers to sit there cowering and clawing at the rocks inside in the darkness. That's a Simpsons reference, in case you didn't know. I don't know anybody named Smithers, but anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. You have fun. You hear?